Hello, thank you for joining us for this episode of Talking About Rock. I'm Rob Edwards. Each week, we bring you rock interviews from around the globe. Remember, you can catch all our shows wherever you get your podcasts. We're available on all the streaming services. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode. Follow us on social media at Talking About Rock. This past couple of weeks have been pretty busy around here with shows. I was lucky to catch the uh, Pawns and Kings tour show with Alter Bridge and Seven Dust and Mammoth's Wolf Van Halen rocking that show. Amazing, amazing stuff going on there uh, with the new album Truth Killer out from Seven Dust. Really great stuff. Obviously, Pawns and Kings from Alter Bridge and the new Mammoth 2 album, which uh, just came out a few days ago, which is amazing. Loving that stuff. Got some great footage from that show. Um, Wolf just sounded amazing. Was loving that. Um, coming up for me this weekend, I'll be heading on the road to Wayland, New York, and going to check out uh, friends of mine, Osmosis. They're an Ozzy Osbourne tribute band. Checking out their tracks, and it's going to be a double header. Actually, they'll be playing with some other friends of mine, Appetite for Voltage. We're both on previous shows here on Talking About Rock. Uh, Appetite does a great tribute to ACDC, Guns and Roses track. Excellent show. Should be great to catch up with um, with all those guys uh, once again. Uh, the next week coming up, busy again for us here. Uh, we'll have Vinny Epsi coming to town as he takes a break from uh, the last in line shows. Uh, since Vivian is, is on tour currently with Def Leppard, uh, Vinny brings his uh, Sabbath night show here to our area, which is going to be another amazing night of, of Sabbath Dio tracks. Can't wait to check that out with Jim Crean on lead vocals, uh, Jimmy Caputo, and Artie Dillon. Uh, Going to be a great show. Just amazing. Can't wait to check that out. So I'll let you know, and I'll post some footage from that coming up, obviously, on our social media sites as well. And I'm sure we'll get a chance to speak to uh, Vinny and Jim again soon. So today uh, we have for you an American Heart rock band from Sutherland, Iowa. So brothers got together here, Blake and Zach Betzal, and they formed a band here in the American Midwest. And uh, before they knew it, they uh, they had a blockbuster track on their hands with uh, releasing Brothers, which describes the loss of their older brother, very emotional roller coaster, uh, that kind of helps them with this coping process. Um, the exposure they got on Sirius XM Octane uh, test drive in winter of 2019 was amazing. They became a regular in the rotation. And um, it peaked at number 20 on the Billboard uh, Top 40 chart, which was amazing. Uh, the band signed to Spine Farm Records in uh, 2020 and released another single, King of Misery, which was another amazing track, co-written by David Dram of Disturbed. And the band released their debut album, Rise as Equals, in uh, October of 2020. Today, they're here to talk to us about their new album, This Is It, The End of Everything. So next up, we'll speak with Zach from Saul on Talking About Rock. Okay, joining us now, we have Zach Betzall from Saul. Hello, Zach. How you doing? Good, man. How's it going? Great, man. Uh kind of last minute for me and filling in for Blake he uh had a few things come up so uh you get the honor of the better looking brother <laughs> well we appreciate you joining us definitely <laughs> you know so just to kind of rehash a little bit what I was talking to our folks about if they're not as familiar with you folks you guys really exploded with the releasing the track brothers peaking on 20 on the billboard charts a, a very personal yep. song for you guys uh yeah so uh blake the singer and myself are our brothers uh our eldest brother passed away in 2009 and it took a handful of years to you know you know kind of feel our emotions out but we finally got it out and i think it's a, a good thing because it's kind of a healing song for us and other people which is awesome yeah, it's definitely an amazing track. It connects to a lot of people for sure. And I and the songwriting style that's I wanted to key in on. It's uh, definitely uh, the more emotional the song is, and it connects. The people can definitely feel that. 
You know what I mean? When when some of these artists are writing, you don't you don't feel it that it's coming from their heart and their soul, you know. But I think that's why you know you're connecting with your fans so well, as as you guys call them equals, right? Yeah. Yep. And that kind of kind of how that kind of spring up. Oh, uh, a handful of years ago, uh, we were a three piece, and uh, we had an EP called "The Touching of Parallels," and. Uh, Blake had an opening line on the song, The Touching of Parallels, called Rising as Equals. And it kind of just stuck with us. And, uh, you know, we've always not really dug the idea of rock stars being put on a, a pedestal higher than anyone else. Because it's like, yeah, dude, we're just normal people like anyone else. We're just, um, you know, trying to use somewhat of a gift that we were born with to spread love and joy i guess definitely definitely and your fan you're definitely connecting with your fans on that and some of the other music that you guys have been influenced by i was reading uh tool has been a major influence you guys as as well as sabbath can you tell us a little bit about some of that influence on yourself yeah uh i mean both of those are my main influences adam jones the guitar player of tool uh man when i was young i uh my eldest brother uh introduced me to them and black sabbath i mean he was five years older than me so he introduced me to a lot of music that i probably wouldn't have found by myself especially you know i'm 30 something years old we didn't have the technology and stuff we do now right um, right that's how everybody got their music from friends or from older siblings mm -hmm. i have a lot of influence myself from my older siblings so yeah yeah i remember the days of uh what lime wire and napster and yeah. stuff like that yeah. um <laughs> But yeah, I just fell in love with Adam Jones of Tool. I think everything about my style of guitar playing and writing is heavily influenced by him. Um, and then uh, Tony Iommi of Black Sabbath. I mean, he's like, to me, he's like the OG metal guitar player. I mean, his rhythms and his leads are legendary. Definitely, definitely. And it's to me, it's so amazing with him you know, having that accident with his fingertips, mm -hmm. we might have never had heavy metal music had, he, had that not happened to him. You know what I mean? So yeah. Just yeah. so odd. Just so strange. It, it is odd. I know. And they, they, uh, I think one of the first bands, n notably, that did like a half step tuning down their whole guitar and gave it like darker vibes and stuff like that. I mean, they had, they had a lot of heavy influences. Definitely, definitely. And you guys are definitely getting very heavy on this new album. Uh, this is it, the end of everything, you know. Definitely a lot heavier tracks, you know, Tooth and Nail, Runaway, A Million Miles, all all great tracks, but 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 I think a little heavier than than you had been. Yeah, it it was odd. Um because I feel like it's lighter than what we normally are. It just depends. I think th I think that's the beautiful thing about music and interpretation is, uh, you know, like our bass player Will, he swears up and down that like the heaviest band of all time is Alice in Chains, and I'm like, how? What What do you mean by that? And he's like, not I'm not talking like black death metal, right? You're just talking that, hard, just hard rock or heavy metal. He, right? he, he's just talking about like the the slow BPM, like droney. Like he said, that's that's heavy to him. Right. So it's interesting. Uh, you know, like uh, uh, No Mercy and um, stuff like that, I think is is heavy lyrically and stuff like that on this album, for sure. Yeah, definitely some great tracks. And I, you know, I really love the track uh, A Million Miles. I want to take a Thank quick you. break and we're going to take a take a short pause and we'll play that track and we'll be right back here with Zach on uh, Talking About Rock.
Okay, we're back here on Talking About Rock, just chatting with Zach from Saul. So, excellent track, man. You guys are really steamrolling ahead with the new songs. I'm liking it. And you're jumping on a, t- a tour starting in September with, with Red, right? Yeah. Oh, man, we're really stoked about this. Uh, I grew up in a time where Red was a huge influence um, in my high school days. And uh, it's it's an absolute honor to be going out with those dudes. Uh, from what I've heard, great guys put on a phenomenal show, really nice dudes. So I think it's going to be an awesome tour. Yeah, it sounds like a great matching between you guys for sure. You know, definitely a lot of cool stuff going on. A lot of dates. I see all the dates at, uh, I think it's at SaulOfficial.com. You got everything yes, posted yep. about there. So, yep. you know, we're we're uh, looking forward to seeing all that going on with that was the, the, the rated... Rated R. Rated R tour. Yeah, the rated R tour. Yeah. What what I really dig about this tour, um, that I think more tours should be doing it, is the way that we like to operate is, you know, we're doing about three weeks uh, starting September 8th and then uh, get the whole month of October off and then going out for about another three weeks in November. I really like that gap, you know, because we're all family dudes. We have little kids at home. It makes it a lot easier on the wives and us and everyone. So I really like doing it this way. Yeah, definitely being uh, you know away from home for a long period of time is definitely not not easy on anyone for sure going on the road. You know. Right. Right. Yep. But yeah, you got a lot of dates coming up. That's excellent. I'm really like the new album. This is it, the end of everything. So folks, you want to check that out? It's out right now. Um, you can check that out. You can check out uh, Saul on tour with uh, with Red. That'll be coming up. Thank you so much, Zach, for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I really appreciate it as well. All right. If you folks out there have comments or questions for us, you can email us at talkingaboutrock at gmail.com. Like us and follow us on all the social media at talkingaboutrock and talkingaboutrock.com. Zach, again, man, thanks, man. Great luck on the tour, dude. Yeah, thank you so much. Hope uh, Hopefully we could run into each other sometime out there. That would be great, man. Have a good night.